Princess of Wales Catherine is excelling at the family business, as she has nailed the power suit look once again during her today visit at the Evelina Hospital in London. This solo outing showed it was Catherine's business, as usual, as she won't hide away, since being dragged into the royal race storm by performing a very subtle gesture. The princess is no stranger to a power suit moment, but her most recent one has an extra special personal meaning. The creation was courtesy of iconic British designer, who designed her wedding dress for her 2011 ceremony with Prince William at Westminster Abbey. She was seen wearing a petrol blue two-piece suit comprised of a form-fitting blazer and skinny cigarette trousers by Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen. She added a slim fit knit in the same shade and tucked it into her trousers. As we have been increasingly seeing with the princess, Catherine added a black leather belt with gold hardware to cinch in her waist even further. Completing the look, HRH opted an elegant stiletto heel. Her 70s bouncy blow dry was an incredible touch. The royal has upped her hair game of late with looser waves becoming her staple and the addition of ultra-trendy curtain bangs. The royal appeared in high spirits as she cut through a pink ribbon to officially open the new surgery unit. She could be seen beaming from ear to ear and even let loose a joyful laugh while surrounded by a crowd of fascinated onlookers. This is Catherine focusing not on the dramas but on her job and on the people she is meeting and most of her body language signals here seem to be performed for their benefit and not as a PR exercise aimed at shrugging off any problems via overkill smiles or fake jollity. The only time she does raise her left hand to hold it near her stomach, it looks like a subconscious gesture to feature Diana's engagement ring. This gesture has been seen more than once during the current round of criticisms emanating from Scobie's book, and the gesture could hint at the idea that it's Diana's strength she is drawing on, especially as this visit is to a children's hospital, and some of the rituals of supportive and reassuring touches and hugs will be very similar to rituals that Diana once used during similar visits. In addition, our princess was keen to focus on others during the visit rather than herself. She began the visit by meeting nine-year-old Ella Moth, who won a competition to design the artwork for the new unit. The princess spends a very long amount of time listening, encouraging, and questioning the girl about her picture. The princess then met Chloe Morley, who was the unit's first patient when she had her tonsils removed recently. When Catherine walks round the wards and comforts a mother at one of the bedsides the progression of the touch rituals. The expressions of concern that end with placing an arm around the woman's shoulders again have a sense of authenticity, because the princess turns her back to the cameras to make the moment more private. At the end of her visit, the Princess of Wales received a stunning bunch of flowers teeming with eucalyptus, white roses, and delicate purple flowers. On one of her last public visits to Evelina London, she got creative with patients during an arts and crafts workshop. One little boy captured an amazing candid shot with his Polaroid camera of Catherine holding up a homemade rag wreath. The hospital's chief executive, Gubby Aida, said, we put children, young people, and families at the heart of everything we do, and you especially feel that when coming into our new unit. It was lovely to have this recognized with the Princess of Wales today, who values the importance of having a supported and nurturing environment for children through her work with the Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood.